Hey everyone, Dan in this van here. A lot of people ask, are you lonely living by yourself or living in a van and being a nomad? Actually, no. As long as I have my phone, my internet, I belong to uh, an educational community where I learn lots of stuff, learning to make money online. Um, I get a lot of social interaction that way. I have tons of friends that I've met online and I've actually, the last two years, I've gone around the country and I've met people that I've known online for a long time, like 15, 18 years. And um, I actually met them face to face finally. I can get as much or as little social interaction as I want, which is great. It puts you in control of your life, essentially. You're in control of where you go. You're in control who you hang out with. Um, you're in control how many people you're around. A lot of times I'll be camping and if somebody's too close, I'll move. I'll just go to another spot. And it's just because I like being by myself. I'm an introvert, but I'm very social. I know that sounds weird, but so if you go to like holiday parties or gatherings and stuff, it's fine. If you're going to do it once in a while for a day, it's fine. But if you have to do like, say you have to go to a work conference for two or three days at a location, it's tough to be, if you're an introvert, it's really hard on you to be, um, I guess, present and be interactive and happy and interacting with everyone and having a good time. It's a lot, I understand. Living in a van makes it so much easier to be an introvert because like I said, you can get as much or as little interaction as you want. You can keep in touch with as many people as you want, not keep in touch with as many people as you want. Um, I do when I'm away, like I was away for since January, I just got back. I miss my sister, I miss my brother-in-law, I miss my nephews immensely, I miss my cousins. Um, I missed everybody which makes it that much sweeter when you come back because you get to hang out. And what's great about my sister and her family is they're so busy with school and after hours activities and things like that. I may only see them every, you know, two or three weeks um, on a normal, during a normal time. During the holidays, I'll see them a bunch. But, uh, you know, I'm two miles away from whoever I want to see in the winter anyway. Yeah, if you feel lonely, you could reach out to people online, you could reach out to people on the phone. Um, I don't really, there's, there's two times per year I probably would like to have somebody special to share everything with, and that's basically um, my birthday and then over holidays, Christmas and New Year's, Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's. But other than that, I don't, I don't feel lonely I don't feel alone um, I feel alive I feel happy to be free um, I don't know I'm just blessed and I'm lucky and I know that so I hope that helps clear up the question that I get is you know are you alone or do you feel lonely well if you're lonely go somewhere and meet someone go to a social function join a group join a club I belong to a nomad uh, group and we meet every Sunday, men's nomad group. We meet every Sunday for two hours and it's great. We share tips on the road, you know, where to stay, what they're doing. There's topics to share, you know, safety tips and places to stay and people to visit and, um, you know, just all sorts of things. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an adult men's, uh, I don't know, fraternity kind of thing. Helping people and volunteering and teaching people things and doing things for people and um, doing charity work. There's a lot of great things to do out there. You don't need to be alone. But if you want to be alone, this is definitely the way to go.